Okay, so I'm walking down Ossington and uh, it's night time um, and um, I'm listening to headphones so if anyone says that I'm weird I won't be able to hear them and uh, this is very unusual I think. I think I saw someone with an iPhone doing this. But I also have my glasses uh, out of the way. So, um, ah, fuck. You okay, buddy? Yeah, it's the car. So, yeah, that just happened. And, uh, now I'm continuing to walk. That was almost like a picket line that I just crossed. But, uh, I don't know. Hopefully that won't happen again. The guy said, you all right, buddy. Uh, so that sounded friendly. It sounds like they're not, um, they're not judging me for what I'm doing. Why would they judge me? Because I'm a perfectly normal person. So I'm going to this uh, comedy place on Queen Street and I kind of caused a little bit of trouble on Facebook. And I'm planning to just sit there and wait for the comedy show. Um, so the comedy show should be pretty good, I think. Um, we're now getting close to where Cam H is, and uh, Cam H is the mental hospital. Uh, I've never been to this Cam H, but uh, there's some people up ahead. I can't tell if they're walking towards me or away from me. Um, I don't know what is real and um, I don't know, like, is, is this normal behavior that I'm doing right now? I'm not sure. People are starting to look a little bit scared of uh, this strange thing, but it uh, clears a path, and uh, they say, oh, someone recommended I review dollar store items, um, and I told them I didn't want to review the dollar store items because uh, then the dollar store might not like me. But nonetheless, here we are on Queen Street and uh, there's a wine rack where you can get wine for uh, $10. I don't think this is a live performance, um, but uh, I had a stand-up teacher who told me that uh, how stand-up evolved was just the most talkiest person in the bar was the person who was talking, and everyone would laugh. This was before they had microphones. 
and they were ice. Um, this is quite scary for me and everyone else evolved, I would guess, and no one has stopped me or questioned me. One, one, uh, one person was like, I was trying to avoid the crowd and my headphones. <coughs> My headphones got caught. So how much is the battery? 59 minutes. So I think that's enough time. It's only been five minutes since I turned on the camera. But uh, maybe other people do this, I don't know. And I have this worry about people looking at me and that I'm doing something like this. I should talk to Melissa and I have my medication and I took my medication and I think the streets are fairly safe. I'd say the streets are safe. But uh, that's just my opinion. And uh, now we're at a red light and uh, we can look around. Uh, so yeah, Starbucks is still open, and, uh, oh, garbage truck, well, the music, I don't know if that was positive or negative. Uh, I think he said don't stop. I don't know. But yeah, those guys could have easily killed me. And uh, I guess they didn't. And a bonus side effect of this is I'm not smoking. So that's good. And, uh, hello, uh, people are very afraid and, uh, I don't know, maybe it was my headphones, but I think she nodded and didn't say hello. So, okay, now I'm like Tommy Fenton, now I'm like Coram Siegel, um, and the trolls the awful trolls. Uh, so, I don't know where I am now. Uh, I have no sense of time and space. I'm completely disoriented. So many people. And, uh, I feel like I'm running as well. But I don't know what I'm running away from. I don't think I'm running away from anything. I think I'm running towards something that would make sense and I've I could use a glass of water I made a joke on Facebook that I would just order like a ton of alcoholic drinks and I don't know about that so I think we're almost there because uh, this is uh, the drink and uh, there's some construction. I guess they're building condos. And you can't really say that this neighborhood is being gentrified because I believe it already has been. And the backpack weighs heavily upon me. Uh, I don't know if I dropped anything. I have my passport. Do I have my keys? Where are my keys? Yeah, I have my keys.
so just doing this. There's the Brooklyn bar. I wonder if Dan Gray <coughs> is there. Because that's not how you say his name. Um, so here we are. Hi. Ben, you want that t-shirt, eh? I really want the t-shirt. Yeah, can man. I, can I point this at you? Yeah, man. How's it going? Uh, I filmed my walk over here. Fucking right on. And I want to pay you. For what? For anything. Why don't you buy a McRib sandwich that we're making tonight? All right. Off of, uh, off of Blair here. Yeah. Uh, what are you, medium? Yeah, I think so. Sick. So, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're well. Yeah, man. Here you go. Okay, let's get that on there. There you go. Hey, boom. Comedy Night T-shirt. Okay. Comedy I'll Night Toronto. Take off my things. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's get you uh, on that, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I have a tripod at home. Will that balance? Okay, yeah, that looks good. So I was talking non-stop, and that was kind of difficult. Hey, man. Walking, walking and talking? It's fucked up. Yeah. I, I can't even walk in freaking two gum. <laughs> Should I put it over top of my You can do whatever you want, man. There you go, free t shirt. Thanks so much for uh, coming down to comedy. <laughs> All right, yeah, look at this gang. Hey, whoa, well, hey, we gotta get that. Oh, yeah. It's Ben, his brand new Comedy Night Toronto t shirt. Yeah, now everyone will think I'm cool. You are cool. Oh, you got a sticker on it, though. You got, yeah, I've got a watch. You got the, no, but you got a sticker right here. You wanna. Oh, does it say my name is? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It can, though. But, I don't know. It's a brand new shirt. Do you know how to read barcodes? Um, no, I never learned. Do they teach that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you, you know, Illuminati. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, definitely Illuminati. <laughs> Ebola. Uh, so, yeah. Let's turn this off. Well, let's get you a uh, friggin' uh, 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 some film. barbecue. Yeah, I'll film these barbecue. Boom. We've got friggin' Blair Main, producer. Hello. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> How much may I pay for this delicious barbecue? So this is uh, this is a five dollar McRib, as you can see right here. It includes some uh, fantastic uh, Hello? potato chips. Hello. One moment, please. Yeah, I'm about to set this up. Hello? Oh, it's a 1 800 number. Oh, my mom called. Hi, Mom. How are you? I just got a t-shirt. A t-shirt. I'm at a bar on Queen Street. And after the comedy show. Uh, how long does the show last? Uh, 10 till about 11.30. Yeah, 11.30 midnight. Did you hear that, Mom? 10 to 11.30? And then there's an open mic of music downstairs after. Oh, or there's, during it. there's music as well, but I, I need to sleep, like you said, right? Okay. Okay, I love you. Bye. That guy comes every week. Different story. This week you need socks, last week you need something else to do with the baby. So, how much, uh, I'll just give you, I was planning on just giving you a credit. Thanks, man. I'll give you a couple sandwiches.
Yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, this this one's for you. Um, take some chips too. So this is a fresh batch. We got jalapeno mac and cheese or bacon poutine. Okay. Well, I'll start with the sandwich. Yeah. Start with the sandwich. Come back. Have some chips. There we got some. Uh, that out. Actually, napkins, but uh, this one. Hey, come to the show tonight, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna Take one of these, alright? One of these uh, big ribs.